it's Johnny Haley here and I'm back. Since I started to do lots of different things to find ways to cut my budget, I've been adjusting it every month um, and it really does help a lot to kind of look at what I'm doing, look at my habits and track my spending every month. So I, again, I definitely suggest budgeting. You can check out this video above if you haven't already seen it for more budgeting tips. I'm hoping that putting this video together can really help reach a lot of different people no matter where you're from, no matter where you live, uh, because if I can do it, you can do it too. Uh, I'm very active, I have a lot of energy, if you can't tell. I like to go different places, I like to be social, but I don't like to spend a lot of money, obviously. So um, I'm constantly looking online and like Time Out New York always has really good posts about uh, free things to take advantage of in the city. Just like spending time with my friends, I'll like go and have a picnic at the park or we'll spend a day on the beach and just try to do a lot more things that aren't requiring money like going to the movies or going bowling or you know, shopping and doing things that I used to do with my friends like in college and high school that I realized just aren't feasible for me anymore. Right now, I'm really, really, really into um, this workout that I do. I'll work a couple hours at the front desk each week and then that allows me to barter for free classes and at the studio. I'm able to get a really, really, really good workout. Like I'll sweat a lot and I'm dancing and I'm having so much fun, but I don't have to worry about paying too much money um, to stay fit. So. That's a really great thing to do is to barter for free things as well. Shopping um, is expensive. Again, just like going to the grocery store, you kind of start to pick up things that you really like and you didn't intend on buying or you didn't plan to buy uh, and it can easily get out of control. Swap don't shop i've been pretty lucky i have four sisters who are generally around the same um, body type as me uh, and have similar styles so we are constantly swapping clothing and giving each other things that we no longer use or no longer wear uh, and that's great for me but more recently we've been kind of aging and getting into our habits of like what we like to wear some of us are more conservative than others and um some of us like more loose fitting garments others more you know tight fitting garments so it hasn't been happening as much as it used to when we were younger one of my roommates is around the same body type as me and she and i just had a swap party the other day where we just like put some music on had some food out and we're just going through each other's like things that we had set aside for each other to look through i was able to walk away with like a couple of really nice shirts and some great skirts for work and she was able to walk away with some colorful new things for her wardrobe and it really works out nicely because you swap and you get a new item of clothing that you feel like it's new even though it's not you don't have to spend any money uh, and just think about all the things in your wardrobe that you rarely wear and if you had the opportunity to get a bunch of new things in your closet um, would you be willing to give those away for me the answer was yes I don't wear them I don't want them or I'm bored with them so for us swapping works Obviously, there's going to be times where you will actually need to shop for something. What I do is I shop for deals. I look around and I make sure that I check all of my options before I purchase anything. A good example of this is uh, recently I twisted my ankle working out and I needed to get a new pair of sneakers that was meant for like indoor cardio workouts. So I was like, oh, I really didn't want to spend any money on sneakers like that wasn't in my budget. I didn't plan for that. So what I did was I went on eBay, I just looked around and shopped around for a ton of um, different type of sneakers. Uh, and I found a really, really great pair for like around 30 bucks, including shipping. And um, yeah, they're really great sneakers. I wear them um, for all of my workouts now and um, I didn't have to spend a ton of money. It took a long time to make sure that I found the best deal before um, I bought it. It's actually nice that I don't have to worry too much about like flashiness or brands showing on any of my clothing. Um, I like things to be plain and simple. What I used to do was I really cared so much about the brands that I was wearing, uh, you know, and now I just find it to be so unimportant. Uh, I'm much more simple too in my style now. I've uh, become a little bit more minimalistic. There are a couple things though that I do when I do shop that I do go for the brand name. So like electronics, I have a MacBook and I have an iPhone um, and that's really important to me because to me it's just like those are the highest quality that I um, like to, to use and so 
um, I did put money towards that. Like I budgeted and made sure that I was able to purchase those things um, because I find them to be really, you know, important and high quality. And I know that they're gonna last me a very long time. There are certain things that I shop for brands and then most of the other things I don't shop for brands. That's something that is an easy way to save a lot of money. Again, it's all about adjusting your mindset. Does it really matter if your t-shirt says Gap on it or if there's no text on it? Not really. Do it yourself. <laughs> There's so many things that people spend money on each month that they could probably just do themselves and save all that money. When I was in college, I taught myself how to thread my eyebrows. So that's a really good example. I used to spend about like eight to $10 every week or every two weeks to wax my eyebrows um, or get them tweezed. And now I just thread them myself. Um, it took oh, quite a, a little bit of time to like learn how to do it and get it right and make sure that I wasn't gonna mess up my face. But um, once I got it, I got really good at it. And I've been able to just maintain my brows on my own, keep them on fleek. I recommend DIY beauty maintenance in general. I'll do my own nails and toes, like I'll do manicures and pedicures and just like things like that. Get really good at stuff so that you don't have to pay for it. I got really interested in sewing about three years ago and I bought a little sewing machine for about 90 bucks. And ever since then, I mean, I've been super happy with it because I've been able to like make my own curtains, make my own purses, been able to make dresses and skirts and pants and things. Obviously watching a lot of YouTube videos and um, other free ways to learn new skills, but it's definitely a, a, just another quick thing that you can do. Uh, learn how to sew or learn how to do your own hair or your own makeup and different things like that to help sort of to manage the costs of the beauty maintenance and things like that. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed anything that I said in this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can email me at missbehelpful at gmail.com. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, 